Hello, and welcome back for another Organism of the Month at the Bean Museum. Today we'll be learning about a fantastic, fast-swimming ocean creature, the sailfish. Sailfish belong to the genus Istiophorus in the family Istiophoridae. Scientists disagree on whether there's one or two species of sailfish, so we're going to sail ahead with genus. Sailfish are a type of billfish, so-called because of their unbelievably large rostrum. Other billfish include swordfish, species name Xiphias gladius, and marlins in the genus Machaira or Istiompax. This trout-sized bill is used not like an impaling spear, but more like a scythe, slamming into fish from the side to stun and injure them for easy catching and eating. Sailfish have even shown a preference for hitting prey from the left or right, or should I say port or starboard, not so different from us humans being right or left-handed. These carnivores don't rely on sudden ambush to get close enough to employ the legendary scything bill technique. First of all, they don't need to. These are the fastest swimming fish on our blue planet. There have been claims of sailfish swimming at over 60 miles per hour, but these are likely exaggerated and have never been officially recorded. Scientists estimate their actual top speed is somewhere between 19 and 25 miles per hour. Still, more than fast enough to run or swim down a school of sardines. They also don't use an aquatic ambush strategy because they hunt in the epipelagic and oceanic zones, and there's not a lot of cover there. What the flipper do these words mean? Pelagic means a certain distance away from shore, and the oceanic zone is out farther still. The prefix epi just refers to the top layer of water that sunlight can penetrate. Sunlight doesn't pass through water very well, and only the top 200 meters or so have enough light energy for photosynthesis. So, even for an upper-level fish, being able to see in dim light is very helpful. Enter a spectacular adaptation of sailfish. Drumroll, please. Sailfish have the ability to heat up their eyeballs. What? So, fish are ectothermic. Their body temperature is determined by the temperature of the water they're in. However, billfish have developed an energy-hungry muscle in their head that generates heat, making their eyeballs 10 to 15 degrees C toastier than the surrounding water. This warming allows the retina to form images quickly at greater distance in dim light. Out of over 25,000 species of fish, only 22 can do the eye-warming trick. Billfish, some tuna species, and a few sharks. Sailfish are kind of the top dog or top fish in the open ocean they live in. While baby sailfish are tiny and are eaten by any number of marine predators, the adults get to be 10 feet or 3 meters long and weigh upwards of 220 pounds or 100 kilograms. So off the menu for everything except the biggest sharks and killer whales. Plenty of sailfish are caught by humans, though. But you don't need to go on a marine fishing trip to see a sailfish. We have one at the Bean! You can also earn a sailfish bio card by talking to an educator in a green shirt or print off a sailfish coloring page on our website. The best colored fish from this month will net a prize. And that's all for now. I'll be seeing you later.